everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video! A couple of weeks ago in one of my repaints I was seriously complaining about how poor Belgian doll market was. We had no sign of LOL OMG dolls, we had no sign of these new Wild Hearts dolls, really, we have just a couple of Barbie fashionistas and that's it in our toy stores. But anyway, everything is not that bad because I've managed to find this beautiful brand new LOL OMG doll. I don't think it's a part of some official release. It looked more like some smaller companies have bought a couple of these dolls in America probably and brought them to Belgium and they sell them here. But I'm anyway very happy I could get one of these dolls. So now we're going to unbox it. We're going to see what is inside. The box says there are 20 surprises inside. So I'm really curious about it, it's really an exciting part of this LOL dolls to see what is inside, like the surprise part. And then we're going to repaint this doll. So let's check what is inside of the box. Ah yeah, and it's going to be this Lady Diva doll, but it doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to remove everything from this doll, so it doesn't matter who she used to be in her previous life. Why, here we have a dressing room, super cute, and here is our doll. But wait, let's first dive into these accessories. <laughs> oh, and it says Aries vibes. I'm an Aries, yes! I knew, I knew it, I felt it when I was choosing this doll. So, hello, <laughs> Aries doll. And here is our doll. Let's remove all this protection. And here is our Lady Diva. Oh my god, guys, she's adorable. Really, she's even better than on the pictures. Her body type is absolutely stunning. The hair color is nice, but the hair is, by the way, uh, so so quality. There is like too much glue or some, you know, hairspray on, on it. You need to brush her hair first nicely. So, her elbows are bendable, are jointed. Look at her tiny nails, look at her hands. It's amazingly good sculpture, really love this doll. Then her knees are bendable the same like the old Barbies the same clicking system and like the wings dolls that we repainted a couple of weeks ago look at her she's just adorable i really love this curvy proportions she looks so sweet ah, adorable 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 like okay here we have then the display holder a brush and what is here what is in this bag aha uh -huh, and this is her handbag yeah looks nice okay so now let's check what is in these boxes aha uh -huh, they use the paper to wrap the what is here the accessories yes here we have her like headphone set here is the belt the choker the earrings and here is also necklace very nice and what is in this box ah uh -huh. here we can see it already size six and a half pink snake skin boots okay oh adorable really adorable the presentation this time is really 10 on 10 I think because for the regular the tiny LOL dolls they used really an excessive amount of plastic just for this packaging just to keep every single piece as a surprise but sorry it's not healthy it's not normal in 2019 
using like this mountain of plastic packaging for such a tiny doll but this time I see everything is much more reasonable yes this is plastic but this is a reusable plastic because from this tiny lol dolls you can you can do nothing with this with this plastic you can just straight throw it away but this is absolutely reusable i'm going to use it not for these accessories but for something else i have enough stuff to storage here you know and also here the presentation of these boots in paper and also in reusable plastic box it's very good and the box itself it's also carton so there is not really much more plastic than in a regular barbie doll thumbs up thumbs up very good so here we have also the outfits and for the outfits you see they also use this recyclable reusable material this is some sort of paper i believe you know so here we have the skirt for our lady And here then probably will be her jacket. Yes, look how fluffy it is. It's really jumping out of the packaging. Very cute pink jacket. Now let's also put her boots on. Uh -huh. And the mirror in this dressing room can be used as a real mirror. Hello everyone! <laughs> so and here is our doll. I think she looks absolutely adorable. I absolutely love the body, the accessories, the outfits, everything. Just everything about this doll is very cute and I think it's going to be a really popular doll on the market. And right now I'm going to remove her outfit and the accessories again and then I'm going to actually destroy this doll. We're going to cut her hair as short as I can and then I'm going to remove her makeup with pure acetone. So it's going to be fun. Let's start and while I'm here destroying this doll, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. So let's go. <laughs> I think this doll has been really beautifully made. Look at her fingers and nails and also look at her toes. Really, it's beautiful work. Her hair is really long, so I think I can use it for another doll in the future because for a routine you have to fold hair in two, so hair must be long enough. But first I need to brush it nicely because her hair is seriously glued or like I told it already, with some hairspray glued together. Then I cut her hair off as short as I can and after this I'm going to use hot air of my hair dryer to make this head soft to be able to disconnect it from the body. And 
actually you can probably do it without warming it up. But I didn't know, of course, which type of anchor they used for this doll, so better take no risk today. And now I can take the tweezers and I'm going to remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the head. And then let's remove her face with pure acetone. Oh, and I haven't said it yet probably, it's so stupid, but anyway, you have seen it already from the thumbnail, of course, that today we're going to turn this doll into Betty Boop. Because I think she's already a real life Betty Boop, even in her original outfit. So I think I'm going to help this Lady Diva doll today to look like a real vintage diva, because her face and her body are just made for it. So, and the first step of this transformation is going to be removing this sculpted eyeliner from her eyes. After this I cleaned the face again to remove my own fingerprints and other grease and dust and then I can spray the face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear to prepare the surface to be able to draw on it. Then I start working on her complexion and this time I'm going to highlight first because our girl is already quite tanned and I don't want to make her even darker with contouring. And this step requires a couple of layers of pastels, I need to build them up a little bit using the same Mr. Super Clear sealant between the layers. Now let's still add a little bit shadowing in the darkest areas of her face and then I also add a touch of blush to her cheeks. Then I'm going to take white acrylics and I will paint the white of her eyes. I can do it with pencils of course like always, but her eyes are so big that it will be really faster to cover it with acrylics. And then I take my watercolor pencils and I draw her complete face. The eyes I'm going to make blue, sometimes you can see also official Betty's with green eyes, but normally they're supposed to be blue. But you know, actually original Betty Boop was black and white, so her eyes are supposed to be black, but we are going for a colorful version today. I would say her lips is probably the only thing that is really different between Betty and this doll, because Betty's lips are placed very much down on her face, like really on her chin. And this doll has her lips on the normal place.
Now let's select the final accents using white acrylics, then I'm going to add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then her face is normally finished, and we can finally take a look at her body. I cannot blush this doll's body because of these bandable legs made of soft rubber. If I spray it with the sealant or with acrylics, it will not stay, it will all peel off after I bend her legs a couple of times. But I also absolutely hate the difference between the face and the neck, so I think I will blush the upper part of her body to match the face, and her legs I will let just like they are. The dress will separate the painted body from the unpainted legs, and this contrast will not be that much dramatic. But first of all, let's make an outfit and a pair of shoes for my doll before painting, because I don't want to destroy the paint or scratch it while, you know, turning it here and trying the outfit on. I'm going to start probably with her shoes, because the paint will still dry for hours, and to make the shoes I'm going to use the original boots, and I'm going to modify them completely. First I sketch the new shoes shape, and then I cut off all the rest. Then I sand the shoes a little bit to shape them better and to make them more smooth looking. And then I cover them with a couple of layers of red acrylics. Make this red decoration on her leg, I don't know how to call it, a suspender, garter, what is the right word for it, I don't even know the name. I'm going to use my favorite warbler material, I'm really obsessed with it lately, it's my number one favorite material at the moment, and it becomes very warm and sticky when you warm it up with a hair dryer, you can sculpt whatever you want out of it, and then it cools down and becomes a hard plastic again. Now let's make a dress for her using this gorgeous red fabric, and I'm going to start with making a pattern for this dress using the original outfit, you know, with a basic construction.
and then I still need to make a wig for her using this black synthetic yarn. First of all, let's turn this yarn into hair and for this I'm going to cut it into shorter pieces and tie them around some barbecue sticks. Then I make the yarn loose and it already starts to look like hair, kinda. I brush the yarn with this cat brush to remove all the loose fiber and then I make it straight with a mini flat iron. Now let's cut it off the stick and glue one side of it with tacky glue. A couple of hours later, when the glue gets completely dry, I can peel it off from the plastic surface and I trim the glue with the scissors. And now when the wefts are finally ready, I can make a wig for my doll. Then I'm going to cut her hair and to style it in a vintage way. And after this I can finally blush her body and like I said it before I'm going to blush just the plastic upper part of it.
I still need to make two bracelets and a pair of golden earrings for my doll and then we will be able to put it all together and then we will take a look at the end result of our transformation today. So, and here is my LOL version of Betty Boop. I think she was just made for it from the very beginning. I'm still completely in love with her body shape. I just think it's so adorable. And now, guys, please let me know what do you think about these new dolls. Do we love them? Do we hate them? Do we care of them? I don't know. Should I even buy more of them to repaint them as well? And also please let me know if you have any good ideas of other characters I could make out of these dolls. I don't know, just if you have any ideas, if you have anything to say, just write it down here in the comment section. Because I always find so much inspiration in your messages, you cannot imagine guys. They always support me so much and they always make me smile. So thank you so much for all your support, for all your comments and for all your likes. I really... I do it for you guys, let's be honest. So and if someone feels like adopting this little Betty Boop girl, she will be available on eBay for three days and the link you will be able to find in the description box like always. So and that was my doll transformation of the week guys, I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art on YouTube with your likes, subscribe to my channel of course, hit the bell button and I will see you ready very soon next week Friday in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys, bye!